Hello everyone, this is a lesson on my favorite subject, Maths Literacy. We are going to look at percentage. Sometimes you are asked to calculate the percentage. Sometimes you are asked to calculate how much of the percentage. There are three ways that they can ask. So here I have three examples to show you when we are asked different things. So there's a formula that you can use all the time and that you, you, you can get the correct answer every time. The formula goes like it's a part divided by the total is equals to percentage divided by 100. We're going to use this formula three times uh, to see when you are asked the part, when you ask the total, and when you ask the percentage. Let's look at the first example. Our first example says Loazi invested 40 rand, which is 20% of her allowance. How much is her allowance per month? Now, in this question, you are given the part. He's investing 40 rand. You are given the percentage, it's 20%. You are asked to calculate how much is the total allowance. So you're asked to calculate the total. So when you use this formula, your part is 40 rand divided by total, what I'm calculating for, is equals to the percentage is 20% divided by 100. When you have this total, when you have this cross multiply, so I'll have total, when we cross multiply, you multiply the denominator and the numerator of the other side. This is grade eight, in grade eight, we are taught to, to cross multiply. If you have one fraction this side and one fraction the other side, when you take the denominator and the numerator of that side, will be equals to the denominator and the numerator of the other side. You can start with the denominator. When you are multiplying, it doesn't make a difference. Okay? So, I want to calculate the total. So, what I'll do, I'll divide both sides with a 20. So, the 20 will cancel the 20. So, the total amount will be, then you take your calculator. You said 40 multiplied by 100 is equal to divide by 20. So the total amount that it's his allowance per month is 200. So this is how you use this formula. Let's look at the second example. Next uh, example, Tato invests 15% of 5,000. How much did she invest? This question most learners can do without the formula. But I'm going to use the formula to show you how you use it. If you can get a correct answer without using the formula, you don't need to. Okay, let's see. Um, the 15% is the percent and the 5,000 is the total amount. So it means I want the part. But what is the part in this particular question is the investment. So... You don't write part because whoever is marking your script need to mark what you are asked. You are asked the investment, not the part. The total amount is 5,000. Percentage is 15% and the 100 comes with a formula. Right? So, you see, you have, I want to leave investment. I don't have to cross multiply and divide again. I can just multiply both sides with a 500 because it's a denominator, it will cancel out. So I'll multiply this side with a 5,000, multiply that side with a 5,000. This 5,000 will cancel that 5,000, I'll be left with investment to this side. My investment will be, then I take my calculator, 15 divided by 100, multiplied by 5,000. So my answer is 750. If he invests 15% of 5,000, he'll be investing 750. Let's look at the third Now the last question. Alex invested 50 rand of 3,000 that he has. What percentage of his money did he invest? So now here in this question, we want the percentage. We have the part which is the 50 rand 
we have the total which is the three the three thousand is quite to that's what we are looking for percentage divided by 100 that comes with form same thing with the other question you don't have to cross multiply in this question you can just multiply by 100 both sides then this one we can say that one then i can multiply that and then my answer will be percentage is equals to 50 times 100 divided by 3000 so the percentage it's one point your calculator says six six so you're gonna round it off to six seven percent it depends on your question paper what did they say rounded off to what to two decimal place or three decimal place so it's one point six seven percent of the investment that's the percentage that he should he alex will be investing so with these formulas you need to practice them the, this one is not hard it's one of the easiest formulas that you can memorize but you really need to memorize it before you go to your exam thank you for watching this day and bye.